Hey, Rank It Up team, welcome to week five. This week is awesome, and I feel like we're getting a lot of the same information from different voices, and I love that. I love it, because like Mindy Lawhorn said, you can hear the same information, but you're going to get something different from each person's voice and the way that each person frames their answers, and that's exactly how I feel. There are so many things that have been shared this week that I was like, oh yeah, I used to say that, or oh yeah, I could say it this way, and so I think it's really amazing. So I hope that you're taking some notes. Now today, I want to let you in on a little secret. I still get paralyzed with fear of objections and rejections. I still let it paralyze me. And when I notice that creeping in, I know that trigger, you know, I know when that's going to happen. I say to myself, I got to do some PD. Even my one of my own coaches, who's one of my accountability partners, she's like, you got to do some PD. Like you can, you can call me out because when I start doubting myself, it's when I need some PD. When I'm doubting myself, I reach for John Acuff and I also reach for Sarah Robbins, um, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. I love this book. In fact, this is an incentive for my coaches to hit Success Club 5 this month. They get to be in a book club with me to read this book. And there are so many things that she shares in this book that are immediate takeaways. And I was reviewing this before doing this video. And the one thing that stands out to me from everyone's videos and from Mindy's call is that facts tell but stories sell. And that may sound a little businessy for you, but at the end of the day, we're all CEOs of our own business, remember? Facts tell and stories sell. And when I think about any objection, I always go back and share a personal story, either from myself or from a coach who I know on the team who can relate, who I can relate their story to the person I'm talking to. So, I can talk about Shakeology and the ingredients and the superfoods and the cost and the savings and the this and the that over and over again, but that's just a list of facts. But the moment that I bring up a story and I relate on a personal level, my invitation switches. And so I feel like you should remember that as you're inviting, but also as you're answering questions and as you are, you know, dealing with those objections. Because you should answer those objections, maybe not with a fact, but maybe this time with a story. Because those stories are going to make a huge difference. And I want you to think about what is a story that I can share with my potential coaches, with my potential challengers, that's going to help relate to their objection. And you can only do that if you do what Mindy said, if you listen first. Are you listening to what they need? Are you listening to their own fears? Are you listening to their concerns and to their hesitancies? Have you asked them those? You have to know what they're thinking and know what they're wondering so you can respond with a story. I encourage you to start doing that today. I am I mean, I am at one of these places where I am not right there reaching my goal for um, recruiting for the month and I hear of other coaches other leaders on this team and they're recruiting rock stars this month and I get in my head and I start doubting myself but you know what I did I went back to John Acuff and I went back to Sarah Robbins and I read a few lines and that's all it took and I was like stories stories today I signed up two coaches because all I did was respond with stories I respond with before and after pictures. Check out Carol. Check out Erica. Isn't this amazing? She's a coach on my team. Isn't this awesome? That's an example of a story. I share the story of my husband and his journey. I share my own story. I respond with stories that relate to the person that I'm talking to. And if that still doesn't work and they still say no, you know what my response is? Okay. Absolutely. Would next month be a better time for you? Is it okay if I add you to my list of people that I'm going to follow up with in June to see if that's a better time for you? And I don't let them go. 
And then I actually will say, you know what? Have a great time on your trip to so-and-so or, you know, have a great summer. Do you guys have any fun summer plans plant made? And because I'm going to continue the conversation past the no. I want to continue the conversation past the no because that lets them know. Hold on, honey. I got my kiddo right here. That lets them know that you weren't there just for a sell. Okay? So stories sell and continue the conversation past the no, and make sure you get them on your list for the next month, okay? You guys are doing an awesome job. I'm really excited about the opportunities that we have coming up for you. Keep rocking it out. I will talk to you later.